begin to pray. The revival is beginning. Oh shame South Africa. Oh shame President of South Africa. For I have already spoken. Nothing can be changed. For they say. Ha. Ah, this president shall not listen to anyone. In South Africa. Oh shame. I gave him a warning in 2020 before the pandemic began. I told you that they would come outside of the country to tempt you. And I told you that if you don't want to choose the nation, choose the Lord. And if you don't want to choose the Lord, choose the nation. But thou president of South Africa have not even chosen one of the either. You have chosen the enemy. And therefore the enemy will show you the consequences. I told you that even those who were around you were not for you. And I said their files are already being taken out. And indeed they have done so. As I've already spoken. So president of South Africa. The only word that I have for you now. I say it is better to fall in the hand of the Lord. Than to fall in the hand of men. Yeah. Allow the Lord to be the hand that you fall upon. For he has already decided that your days are already numbered. Number. He's already decided. So why don't you just surrender to him? Why don't you just give yourself to him? I've told you already everything I've said. It. So now... I want to speak to South Africa because they kept on saying in Robben Island when we were there. When we went to Robben Island, I kept on hearing them in 1989 in the winter of June. As they flew, they flew from all over the world and they said, where shall we make a covenant in South Africa to take over the continent of Africa? They said Robin Island is the place. That is where we shall shed the blood. And the Lord says I even saw the blood in Robin Island. And the Lord sent me there as he servant, And I went to Robin Island. And when I went to Robin Island. The Lord spoke to me. He said even the dragon that is seated within the waters of the Cape. Will begin to respond. To the power of the Lord that is about to change the nation. From there they started banning the parliament. And they did all the evil. Because in a nation that has no democracy there is no parliament. The Lord is talking to you. So right now. They have destroyed every system in South Africa. That even your judiciary has already been invaded. As I told you in 2020 December, 2021, that in the year of 2021, corruption in the judiciary will rise. And it will be exposed and it will be the spectacle of the world. It has begun, it will continue. I see many, many judges in this country will be called criminals and they will be judged for criminal cases. God is going to bring them. None of them is going to escape. None of them is going to escape. None of them. All of them are going to account for their evil. So as I'm talking to you, they are crying. Because many of them are talking to one another and they are saying, we even regret that why did we even accept it? Why did we even do it? Because now they are using this against us. The Lord says you have already accepted it. Wait for the consequences now. For they will come. So in this country, 
Pray for your military.